Heck yeah. Those are bright. All right, so when you buy the LEDs, this is what it looks like. You run it through your wheel liner, get it wired up. You use the connector. Let's hook up the battery and check it out. Not only that, but they powdered the inside whole inside. So, so we can't get them in. I'm gonna have to take a file or sandpaper or something. And Which we did to the other one over there. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, Houston, we got a problem. This truck wasn't supposed to run wheel spacers. It's already got 14 wides and it's supposed to clear just fine with 14 wides, nine inch lift, 35s. However, the way these wheels are cut, it hits the brake caliper. So if you have a 2019 Denali, keep in mind, not all wheels are gonna fit. It'll hit your brake caliper because it's bigger than your uh, normal 1500s. So that's one problem. So we put the spacers on here. And so another problem we're running into is this company powder coated the whole back side. That's supposed to be finished raw. Also, the threads are powder coated. You can see where it's hitting the studs and you can, we can't even get this wheel in there. We got to grind all that out. That whole back side's not supposed to be powder coated, is it? Do most wheels not come powder coated like that? No, they leave it raw so it'll sit flush against the mm. rotor. See, the funny thing is, he was supposed to get American Forces first, and uh, he wanted the concave series from American Forces, and when I called American Forces to try placing an order for him, American Forces gave me heads up and said, if you have a 2019 and up Denali 1500, because of the brake calipers, their concave wheels will not fit. So they gave me heads up. But these wheels that we got from this company, which I will not say the name because they threatened to sue me a couple times. This isn't a concave design and they knew that it was gonna go on a 2019 Denali 1500. So I'm not really sure why these wheels don't fit unless you put wheel spacers on. However, I mean, they did try to make it right by paying for the wheel spacers. I'll give you that. A lot more headache and uh, th this truck should have been done last week. But we had to wait for the spacers to come in and all that good stuff. Now let's see if it fits. Man, the powder is too thick. Everything about this wheel is kind of just not right. They look great though, but when it comes to functionality and how it's supposed to fit and everything, not the, not the most top quality, top notch. Oh, it's almost like if an Instagram model was a wheel. That'd be it right there. Looks great, but won't go in. Been sanding it for like five minutes, still won't go in. Still got more sanding to do. So here is the third wheel. Also the powder coat is super thick. So gonna be doing some sanding for 15, 20 minutes. And also if you look over here, doesn't really seem like the wheel is sitting very flush with the spacer because of the powder coat. So we are just a little concerned because over time it may cause, you know, vibration. And then because of that, studs or the, the lug nuts can come loose over time if it's in the vibration. And also uh, the biggest part is it's too wide. <laughs> it's definitely gonna rub and he doesn't wanna rub at all. That's the face of defeat <laughs> and frustration. Still won't go in. Every wheel's been like that. Current status updates.
picked up the fender flares back from the paint guy. Headlights were dropped off by Phil from Fast Headlights. All color matches inside. Absolutely looks killer. It matches the factory paint perfectly. And then the grill, the outer part of the grill where it was chrome got paint matched also by Mondo's paint guy. We're so close to being done, just so close. But this is holding him up. Oh, finally. Let's see if it works. There you go. Way easier. Much easier. So isn't the spacer and the factory stud, isn't it the same size and the yeah. same pattern? Mm -hmm. But why is it that it kind of slid right in with the factory stud, you think? Because I want to say it, it did fit with the factory studs. But with the wheel spacers, it was a little too tight with the powder coat. Either way, we, we weren't planning on playing spacers at all. He's going to have to, for now, until we figure out a different solution for it. All right, we're ready to set her down on the ground. Oh, yeah. That is sweet. She, she's a big one. She's thick. Looks good. I think he's gonna be real happy. That's, that's wide. Yeah. He's gonna rub. I mean, if you trimmed, like, I don't think he wanted to trim, though. He didn't want to touch anything with the bumper. That's why we chose the size. Ooh, that's tough. But thanks to, um, this will come from some spacers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right, giving you guys a quick update. This truck, lift, wheels, tires, everything was done. Headlights, color match, everything was done. About a month, I would say maybe close to two months ago, he's been on stocks for ever since we got the lift kit done, mainly because the wheel company who will name, who I will not name because they try to sue me or threaten to sue me on the last video where we picked up the wheels uh, not these wheels, but different set of wheels and we weren't happy with them with the finish and because we mentioned that in the video They threatened to sue me. Wow, that is that is mint That is mint mm. for sure Hey, well worth the wait, huh? Yeah, those are sweet. Those look badass. Dude, you can't get custom wheels like that Let me show everybody because mm -hmm. what we're looking at here is some of the finishing on it you let us know because we're like pretty much new to the polishing wheel world. So, if you can see the nick, let's see. You just need to polish it out. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? See those like little swirl marks? Almost like the machine finish. Like right there. My drop stars don't have that. So, I guess our question is, is that something you can sand it down to smooth it out? They cut it wrong. So, these Denali's have bigger brake calipers, so you have to cut it a certain way. Well, they, I guess, I don't even know the way they cut it, it just didn't work out. And I'll, I'm gonna have to show you the wheels. 
So he originally had 35s on here and because the wheels don't fit, what the company recommended was to run two inch wheel spacers front and back. Well, back, it's okay. The front, this is a seven to nine inch slip and 24 by 14, 35s and two inch spacers, which makes it 16 wide. That is too wide for this truck. And uh, we were, that would mean cutting about that much of the bumper. And this truck is way too nice to do that. So, end result after trying to figure out for months is he's just gonna run 33s on this big of a truck. So technically this is gonna be like a 16 wide setup. Only thing I don't like is they powdered the hubs, meaning he's running two inch full spacers on this. You ready? I'm not gonna go in easy. They powdered the inside and they powdered the back of the hub too, or face the of the, the hub. Dude, I will say this is this thing is gonna have stance, but how's it gonna ride on the interstate? No idea. He's gonna have to retorque his spacers when he gets to Daytona. Are you gonna do Elite Innovations Mobile? Correction, this truck is actually set exactly at nine, but on these trucks, the limit is 35s on 14 wides. If you don't wanna do all the trimming. And for this truck being so new and nice, definitely didn't wanna do any kind of trimming. Uh, definitely didn't wanna have to completely hack the front bumper just to fit 35s with spacers. So this was the solution pretty much, running 33s on a nine inch lift. All right, well, there she is. After about six months of this build, I would say she is finally complete. Next thing, this coronavirus has really screwed like everyone's build up. I'm currently waiting for the amp steps to be here, but this truck is pretty much sitting exactly how Chris wants it to sit. Not exactly, because he wanted 35s and small like smaller offset but i would say it does look pretty good having pretty much like your 16 wide setup more than half the wheel is poking out uh, i think it looks amazing i love that bulldog stance i think chris is going to like it a lot too because he does he did say he wanted some stance on his truck i think so next thing is i think he's going to get ceramic coated with the guys at the detailing specialist leave a comment below what you guys think of how this truck turned out i think he's going to be pretty happy with it so he is going to daytona so make sure to check out his truck and keep on the lookout for this truck in daytona